Welcome to AC Today. This time we are swinging by our Liberty Church in Baltimore, Maryland. We are celebrating their year of Jubilee. That's right, 50 years in ministry. The celebration took place October the 21st through the 29th. And on this particular Sabbath, the celebration was in high gear. After welcoming their new pastor, Paul Smith, the congregation was eager to celebrate Liberty's history. The service included video messages from some of Liberty's former pastors. We also took some time to reflect on how Liberty actually got started. When Liberty first started, we started out of a crusade that was conducted by Pastor Lenthicum and then Pastor Scales. And so from that, our journey just kept going and he's blessed us, as I said, each step of the way. We worship in the beginning five different locations. So they called us the nomadic church. And rightly so we were because we were all up and down Liberty Road until we found the place here. And that was and that was um, by Clint Desari around this place. And what is a celebration without arousing praise and worship? Of course we enjoyed wonderful music led by Tabitha Hill. After prayer, there was a thank you offering collected. And of course, we utilized those precious jewels, our children. We transition right into the children's story. And with all the blessings extended to the church, it was time for the members to give back through tithe and offering. Because I know you know all about tithes and offering, but I will simply remind you that tithes have never gone up. It has always been 10%. And it's our obligation. And sometimes, you know, we say, oh, give thanks to the Lord for he's good and his mercies endure forever. So our offerings are going to show the Lord just how much his, we are grateful for his mercies enduring forever for us. Next was the scripture reading, which was followed by the introduction of the speaker by Pastor Paul Smith. At the conclusion, he offered a prayer of dedication over the speaker. Lord, you've preached, you've delivered, and you've poured. Allow your vessel to empty out this morning. In your name we pray, amen. After another song, it was time to hear from Liberty's first pastor, he was there from 1973 to 1974, Pastor William Lithicum. We can't act like the world. <coughs> we must lift, when we lift Jesus up, then he said if we lift him up, all people will be drawn to him. Many of us were headed in the wrong direction. But God had mercy on us and saved us. If we want to have inner joy. Ask the Lord to give you something to help somebody else. Simple as that, simple. The message was then sealed by singing a very popular hymn, Seeking the Lost. The service was officially closed with prayer. As one could expect, it was time for members to greet and fellowship with one another. 
Liberty not only displayed memories on various walls of the church, but they also created new ones by taking pictures on that momentous day. And of course, this provided the perfect opportunity to speak with some of our members about what it meant to celebrate 50 years at Liberty and reflect on their own memories. I've been attending Liberty um, since Pastor Hayden was here. Yeah, um, I've been going to a lot of their um, camping and all that when they used to go for project. Yeah, so I used to go on, like come in to visit and from Pastor Hayden, then, you know, came into Pastor McClary. He one of my best pastor. Yeah. And I love everybody at church here. And Liberty is a great place that, you know, to worship. And to see all the beautiful people that started this, this, this milestone. And they are still here telling the story. And it gives some of us courage to continue to carry this story. The word anniversary means that things have happened from the day one until up into a certain stage in life. So it has been 50 years for us and we are elated. There's much that has really happened in our church, Liberty Seventy Adventist Church. I am a member here and uh, I'm just so blessed and I'm so honored to be a part of this fantastic um, program that has been planned for our 50th anniversary. So when I think of this anniversary, to me it's a blessing because yes, I am a member of this church. I've been a member for close to three years now, and I've seen a lot. This journey, yes, I know we've come far, and I know God is taking us somewhere. And this anniversary is going to reflect um, a lot of things that happen, has happened in this church. We have history that not a lot of people have heard of about the liberty. And uh, I know that uh, what is going to bring is just a joy. Well, the first time I came to Liberty, um, first of all, I prayed about it and I asked God to, to lead me to a church where I feel home away from home. Um, and I vis visited other churches, but I didn't get that, ho that at home feeling. But when I came to Liberty, that was it. That was the cream of the cup. And from ever since, this is where I am. It's a true blessing because um, a lot of other churches, I know, um, they haven't reached so far. So as the slogan say, we come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord's side. So, yes. So Liberty, I just like the vibes. It, they're very energetic and um, the pastors are funny and they just know how to like preach. Um, I hope they accomplish um, the goal of expanding the church and bringing back the youth and making it more family, not necessarily family friendly, but making it more welcoming and making everybody feel loved and appreciated. Mm. Okay, I think my experience has been great. Like, um, everyone here is very, like, inclusive and um, the pastors, like, the elders, everyone, they try and, like, talk to you and help you out more with like getting closer with God. So I would say like, I I think that I really like this church. Then we had a chance to catch up with Liberty's first pastor, Pastor Lithicum, who spoke that day, as well as the current pastor to get their own reflections and well wishes. The summary of the message this morning was that Liberty must continue to broaden its borders and get out of its comfort zone for all churches and seek those who are in need of Jesus. That's the basic gist of my message. Uh, just starting off in the ministry as a lay pastor, and for that, for that year, the Lord gave us six souls, which was, I thought was pretty good, because any souls for Jesus is wonderful. That, and I love that. And we have a lot of professional people broaden their borders. <laughs> and reclaim the backslid, those who have left the church. Those two things are really, I think about, yeah, more so than anything else. We've had a wonderful day today. We've began our 50th anniversary here on the 21st of October. 
We are 50 years and we plan to see another 50 years or until Jesus comes. Um, what we plan to do here at this church is truly hit our community. In a couple of weeks, we'll be going out, we'll be hitting our community, talking with our community members, building relationships so we can continue to bring the gospel to this kingdom. As we've been going forward, the church is growing and going. We baptized four last week. We have another five or six planned for next week after that. So God is blessing us. So as we continue to go forward, pray for us as we pray for you. Thank you. Well, happy 50th to our Liberty Church. We're wishing you continued success. And should the Lord delay his coming, here's to another 50 years. Thanks for watching. And please let us know if your church is doing something remarkable. We want to focus on you as well. Email me at lhewitt at aecsda.com. Be blessed and we'll see you next time.